chemicals are everywhere. About 350,000 different chemicals are on the market globally and production volumes will double by 2030. Every day, everywhere, people of all genders are in touch with chemicals. Gender stereotypes and gender roles have impacts on production processes, occupational safety and consumer behaviour. Despite all that, gender is hardly ever considered in chemicals management and it remains gender blind. However, the gender lens helps you to see more clearly. For example, it can help us understand why people often disregard protective measures when they deal with toxic chemicals. Women are less likely to be able to afford well-fitting personal protective equipment than their male colleagues. They often earn less, plus protection for women is often more expensive or not available at all because it is mostly designed for the Western male body. Men, on the other hand, often believe that wearing protective clothing is unnecessary and indicates a level of weakness. Also, toxicology and medicine are often gender-blind, which can have strong effects on people's health. That is why applying a gender lens helps everyone. Especially women, trans and intersex people experience phases in lives when their bodies become more susceptible to health damages from chemicals, like pregnancy or menopause. However, chemical risk assessments often don't include specific effects on women's and LGBTI's health. There is also little research on sperm health and infertility. The topic still seems to be taboo in our societies. However, sperm counts and quality have dramatically declined, and one reason may be chemical pollution. The gender lens offers new perspectives. It helps you to explore and understand problems in chemicals management and points to new paths for developing safe and effective policies and products for all. Therefore, look through the gender lens, put gender on the agenda and invest in gender activities. Because gender justice is the right chemistry.